Assalamu alaikum grade 3. How are you? I hope you are happy and safe. Our lesson today is problem solving investigation. The strategy is extra or missing information. Is this possible? How can we solve a question with extra or missing information? Let's start with the first example. Page number 397. The school's hay ride starts at 6 p.m. There are four wagons that can hold nine children each. Half of the children going are girls. What is the total number of children that can ride on the wagons? What do you think, grade 3? How can we solve this problem? To understand the problem, let's read it again. What facts do we know from this question? The school hayride starts at 6 p.m. This is the first fact that we know from the question. There are four wagons that can hold nine children each. So, four wagons that hold nine children each. Another fact. The last fact that we know is half of the children going are girls. Half of children are girls. And what we need to find? What is the total number of children that can ride on the wagons? To find the number of children that can ride on the four wagons, we need which fact of these three facts do we need to know? At the hay ride starts at 6 p.m. What if it starts at 7, 8, or even 9 p.m.? Will your solution change? What about this information? There are four wagons that hold nine children each. So, what do you think? Is this an important fact? Or this one? Or this one? What if all the children are girls? Or what if all children are boys? It does not matter, right? So, the only important fact is there are four wagons that hold nine children each. Using this fact, we can solve the question and find the number of children that can ride on the four wagons. So, the two important facts are the number of wagons and the number of children each wagon hold. Now, the third step is to solve this question. To find that, we need to multiply 4 and 9, number of wagons and number of children each wagon hold. So, 4 times 9 equals 36. Excellent grade 3. The last step is to check if our answer makes sense. We can use repeated addition to check if our answer makes sense or not. So, 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 equals 36. So, our answer makes sense. Now, please grade 3, be sure to write these answers on your book, page number 397. And when you finish, try to solve the next question, page number 398. When you finish solving this question, you can check your answers here. Now let's solve question number two. Bert bought four of each of the items below. Here they are. Pencils, paper, and bender. How much change did he get back? How much change did he get back? What missing information do you need to solve the problem? Yes, of course, there is a missing information. Because to solve this problem, we need to know how much money Bert had to start with or how much money he gave the clerk. We can solve the questions with extra information, but we cannot solve the questions with missing information. Please, grade 3, be sure to write the answer in your book and then try to solve the next question. And when you finish, you can check your answers here. The same for the next page. You can check your answers here. Page number 400. The next page is your homework grade 3. So please try to solve it by yourself. And then when you finish, you can check your answers here. Page number 402. It's the end of grade 3. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.